streaming with your Sony camera as a webcam with just a USB cable, no capture card dongle needed. So the software is finally available for us Mac OS users, along with an update for Windows users. Simply head to the website, I'll have a link in the description box below, and tick all the models that you're planning on using. These are the ones that are currently compatible right now. After that, select the OS you're using, install the package, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and reboot your computer. Now on your camera, make sure these settings are configured as follow. Feel free to pause the screen if you need it. Now load Zoom, OBS, Google Hangouts, whatever you're planning on using the camera to stream with, and underneath the camera section, select Sony Camera Imaging Edge. I find the latency on the Mac to be very minimal and it works great. Stick around for some additional tips on how to optimize your camera for long conference calls and long video streams. Otherwise, you're good to go. I'm personally stoked for this because I can finally do a multi-cam setup, but there's a caveat to it. One of my cameras still needs to use this Elgato Capture Card Cam Link. Unfortunately, you will not be able to plug in multiple Sony cameras via multiple USB since Imaging Edge can only recognize up to one camera at a time. But hey, I mean, it's fine. It saves me from having to buy another one of these capture cards, which are quite expensive and hard to find nowadays. So if you're new to using your Sony camera as a webcam, my advice to you is to be shooting in video mode and shoot with program setting along with auto ISO and auto white balance. This way, the camera will adapt to the different color and lighting changes happening in your space if you're not shooting in a dedicated studio with constant lighting. Not only that, but it also utilizes the video autofocus, keeping you in focus while you, I don't know, move around during your video calls. Next tip that I have for you is enable USB power supply so the cable can also charge the camera as well, but also try to use a fully charged battery right before a long call or a long stream. And yes, you can record on the camera while simultaneously be streaming on your computer, though I would recommend enabling auto power temperature to ensure the camera powers through the heat over time. One thing to note is that this setup will not utilize the in-camera audio, so for the best audio solution, you might still want to consider using a headset with a mic attached or using a USB microphone like the Yeti Snowball, the Rode NT-USB, and the brand new Rode NT-USB Mini. For me personally, I'm using the Shure SM7B, which is a highly recommended podcasting mic as well as a mic for singers as well. Um, the way that I'm routing it through is to a Mix Pre 3, this little device right here that is then connected via USB-C to my iMac. Let me know in the comments down below, how are you planning on using this setup? Is it for work? Is it for teaching? Is it for a live podcast show that you'll be doing every Monday night? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.